Hey there guys, I'm Zach and this is Zach's Editing and today I'm going to be showing you how you can turn an animation like this into an animation like this. Um, so you can see the first animation obviously didn't look as realistic as the second animation. Um, so I'll be showing you how to do that. So it's pretty much just making smoother animation. Um, so I just created a new action script 3.0 and we've just got these layers here and I've just uh, set it to fit in window. Um, so for demonstration I'm going to um, just grab the brush tool um, and so you can change the brush tool with the square bracket so um, open square bracket makes it smaller and close square bracket makes it bigger. So the way to make these animations smoother is by adding something sort of called easing. So if you're familiar with like After Effects or Premiere Pro or even Cinema 4D um, easing you might already know what it is. Um, but it's like where you are easing, say, this into this. Um, so obviously a normal one, you go from here to here to here. But with an ease applied to it, say an ease out on the start, would on like say the start keyframe, it'd go from there to there, and then it'd go there, or, or it might like add another one, whatever. Um, and then ease out would also do that. So it'd go from that to that, to that, to that, to that. So it's adding just a nice little ease and you'll see how it makes it look a lot more realistic in a second when I just um, show you what you can do with that. Um, so I'll just undo all of that um, and then I'll go ahead and show you how you can do this. Um, so we've just got the first keyframe selected and we're just going to draw a nice circle. Um, yeah, we can create an actual circle if we'd like to. So if we just hold the shift with the oval tool um, and we might just set the fill, we'll have no fill and we'll have a stroke of black. Um, yeah, I reckon one's good. So if you just hold shift then it makes it a perfect circle. You can also hold alt and that creates it from the center of where you selected. Um, so we might just set that stroke to maybe five. Ooh. Okay, so we'll just create a nice circle holding shift. Actually, we might make it a bit smaller. That's good. Um, and then we'll go ahead and hit F7. So that's just going to create a new blank keyframe. And then we're just going to go down to this little onion skin um, button. We'll just click it and then pretty much what it does is it shows you. If it um, doesn't quite show you enough keyframes, just make sure these little tabs have been brought outwards to show you the one behind it. Um, so then we're just going to go and we'll create a normal. Um, so we'll just hold Alt and Shift just there. And then we're just going to hit F7 again. And we'll just keep doing that for a bit. Okay, so we've got a little animation here and I'll just show it to you now. So if you just hit Enter, it'll play. Um, so yeah, it looks okay. Um, I guess. Um, so I've just set them at even spacings between. Um, but I'm going to create a new layer, so just this little icon here. Um, and we'll just grab that first um, keyframe and we'll just create another circle and we'll just set it a bit lower and then we'll hit F7 again and then we'll just turn on that onion skin again. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go in, bring it a bit closer. So this is like applying the ease to the style, we'll hit F7 again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to gradually get further and further away and then here we'll go to send to the center and then we'll hit it again might set it a bit further back maybe a bit closer and then we'll hit F7 again finally and we'll set it so it finishes at the same sort of coordinates as that one um, so now if we just turn off that onion skin now we can compare the two together um, so you might not be able to completely notice it, um, but what you can see is this one has an ease of the start and ease at the end. And it just creates a slightly smoother animation looking more realistic as well. So if we just hide that um, first layer, we can just see it's got that nice sort of ease. And then if we look at that, um, the first one that we made, it's just a, like a sharp sort of quick movement. Um, so it's for movement when you're just randomly, um, say like starting, 
Um, obviously, if you've already got a ball rolling across the screen at full velocity, then you don't you don't want it to ease at the start. Um, but say it's coming in at full velocity, and then you've got it to stop. You might want to add a slight ease for it to stop um, nice and slowly. So we'll just delete those layers. If you just have them selected and then just click this little rubbish bin icon. And we'll just go ahead and select these frames and we'll just right click and hit clear frames. So now we've just got a blank canvas again. Um, and now what I'm going to show you is that sort of stick man sort of um, animation with those two compared. Um, so we'll go ahead and create the first one first. So I'm just going to draw some nice sort of stick man animations. Um, so let's draw the body there. Um, we'll do is him just standing straight first. So we've got him just standing there. And we'll just hit F7 and turn on that onion skin. And then what we'll do is just have his head at the same sort of spot. And then we'll just have his legs start to come up. Um, and we'll have that arm slowly starting to wrap around as well. So we'll do that again. And we will just keep going. So as you can see, a nice sort of thing um, to remember about animation is to always have a backwards movement. So you can see the stick man sort of raising his legs and then he's going to quickly speed off. Um, so it's like a backwards movement before a forwards movement always. So now we're just going to have this stick man slowly start to move forwards as he speeds. And then that's that animation done. So now if we just hit enter, we can see it does look alright. We've got his leg pushing up and then him running forwards. And we've just got him randomly stopping. And I know the animation does look pretty bad because he's just, um, because he just all of a sudden stops and then he's just stopped into that position. And then obviously it also does look quite bad because he does slowly move downwards. So we could have just added a little horizon there to make him look better. But yeah, so that's that um, first one. And this is one that we don't want to follow because as you can see, it's pretty bad that he just stops randomly um, and he's able to do that, which is impossible. So I did add a little feature that makes animation a lot smoother, which is this sort of pull backwards before he quickly sprints away. Um, so now we'll just go ahead and hide that layer and create a new one. And now we'll just um, create a, another animation which will be the same sort of thing um, and it will be the stick man going forwards as well but this time with a few extra features that will make it a lot smoother. Um, so this time what we might do actually is we'll just create a, a layer underneath it and then this is just going to be a nice sort of line that will just define his running point. So now we'll just make sure that we're still selected on this layer 3. Um, so that's all working fine. Um, so then we'll just do the pulling backwards again. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a nice sort of forwards movement. And it's not going to be too far from him at the start. Because he's just going to be starting to run and so he's obviously not going to be running at super um, at a super speed just yet um, but what we're gonna do is um, to make this animation a lot smoother and a lot more realistic um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slightly push him downwards um, so it'll be like crouching along the floor almost I guess and then another thing that we'll do is um, we'll stretch him outwards along the sideways a bit um, and that will just make it um, as if he's got that sort of motion in him that's causing him to pull sideways. Um, so that's probably a bit too much just yet. Um, that's probably a bit better. So we've just got that starting. And then we're just stretching him outwards. We can see his arms look like he's getting, look like they're getting longer. Um, and then as he speeds up, now we'll have it a bit further away from him and we'll have him a bit more stretched out. So we'll have that just like save that and we'll just have that 
And we'll just have his arm sort of stretching out nice and far there. Um, so then what we'll have is him slowly starting to get back into position. So he won't have his head as stretched anymore. And we'll have him slowly starting to rise up. And his arms getting shorter as well. And then he'll sort of start to get back into that proper headspace. And we'll just check that. Okay, it looks like he has to become a bit higher there. Just keeping those consistencies really helps it to look more realistic as well. Um, yep. Oh, and we'll just go back here. And we'll just add that nice sort of pulling in. Maybe his leg starts to come a bit closer. His arms might start to stop having as much push. And then we'll hit F7. And then his head will become a bit more round and we'll move him forward still a bit more. And his legs might start to separate a bit. And then his arms will start to rest as well. And there. And that. And now let's see what that looks like. So we'll just turn off the onion skin and hit enter. So now we can see this looks a lot more realistic. We've got that nice squashing downwards and squashing um, and stretching out to the side as he runs and we've also got that ease so we can see he doesn't move too much here and then there's a quick movement and then he gets um, a bit quicker as well and then he starts to slow down so it's not just a sudden movement so say in the other animation we've just got him running and then he just stops at that position so if we just look at that we'll just hit enter it looks much more realistic. Also adding that floor made it look a lot better as well. Um, so what I find works best is if you know that say whatever you're animating is going to be animating across a flat surface. If you just add a little extra layer here even if you don't have that um, actual photo or um, drawing just yet. Just add a nice little flat or if you know that there's going to be a bit of bumps or whatever just add that. Um, just so you're not just doing it by eye as you can see when I tried to do that he lowered quite a lot yeah um, so just remember to take away from this video the four things to make an animation um, a lot smoother and more realistic um, the first one just being a little floor if you need to the second one just that nice sort of pull back the third one that sort of easing into that speed um, if you're just starting that movement and the fourth one being this squashing and stretching depending. So say if he was jumping, you'd want him squashed into a nice sort of oval as he's jumping higher or something. So thanks for watching. I hope you're now able to make much smoother animations in Adobe Flash. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.